Anyway, let's go. I'm dead. Oh, wow. Oh, oh, oh. This is Piers Corbin, the UK's most famous anti-vaxxer. He spent the last year claiming COVID is a hoax. What we're seeing is some sort of flu that's been around for 46 years. And is dedicated to campaigning against vaccines. Bill Gates and others intended to oh. inject the world. Public like I said, I had no idea that Piers Corbin was a fucking nut. Like, a nutter bruv. Absolute nutter bruv. Turn off AC. I will not turn off my AC and I will continue to turn on your mom every fucking night Been before I have sex with her. A year. Love the stream. Sorry, dude, Asshole. that like you barely can even fucking hear a little bit of background noise, like a little bit of fucking white noise in the background when you have your Sennheiser uh, headsets cranked up to like maximum level and it maybe upsets you a little bit, but I'm not going to fucking do that while it's 100 degrees out and sweat under like lights and shit okay publishing leaflets stating all covid jabs are dangerous although that's not even his worst leaflet ultimately he and other anti-vaxxers fly in the face of science and are putting people off life-saving vaccines and when they say to fly again i say but are these anti-vaxxers people of principle? To put this to the test, Archie and I offered Piers Corbin a dodgy donation of £10,000, told him I was an investor in AstraZeneca, and that we'd like him to leave AstraZeneca alone and focus his anti-vaccine work on Pfizer and Moderna. Focus on leaving AstraZeneca out of it wherever, wherever possible. We'll focus on Pfizer and Moderna. We started by using our brilliant PR firm, Gelden Yap, headed up by Harry Bridges. This is my business advisor. Hi there, Harry Bridges from Gelden Yap. Who emailed Mr. Corbin pretending to represent a wealthy individual with a connection to a vaccine company who wanted to make a donation. Now, in order to do this legally, because Piers Corbyn's not going to sign a consent form, we need to do this for real, which means for the first time ever in these videos, Josh is going to be called Josh Peters. And in order to say that he's got a shareholding in AstraZeneca, he really actually does need a shareholding in AstraZeneca. So I'm on this app now where you can buy stocks and shares in companies. So we're going to go for AZN. £82.13 pence for a share at the moment. Let's go with £100. Pounds, How many shares does that get us? One share. Happy it's done. Oh, brilliant. We are shareholders in AstraZeneca. That was easy. Well done. Josh, well done. Thank you very much. Meanwhile, Mr. Corbin was delighted to meet us. So Archie set a time to meet on London's Sloan Square, and I took out £10,000 to give him. There was just one problem. Now, the problem is, this is quite a lot of money. It's like all of our money. So we don't really want to give it to Piers Corbin, and this is what... Yeah, right, dude. All of our money? Dude, they have 1.4 million subscribers. They definitely have more money than that, but hey. Um... The ultimate irony of this video Share. is we all now know because we watched uh, H Bomber guys like two hour fucking uh, anti vaxxer, uh, anti vaxxer uh, uh, video and how it like came from a single, also British, <clears throat> anti vax disgraced doctor. Is that he also had a financial reason for spreading vaccines cause autism conspiracies a switch comes in this is going to go into an envelope that we show piers corbin yeah henry white another magician who's a friend of mine is then going to come while ellie josh's girlfriend is taking a photo with piers corbin to switch the envelope containing this money with josh some monopoly money Having put our Monopoly money and our real money into matching brown envelopes, we headed to the meeting. Right, that's what we're on. We set up our tables, briefed our extras, and hid our cameramen. Then, probably the most infectious man in Britain finally arrived. Mr. Corbin! Oh, Absolute pleasure to meet you. So lovely to see you too. How are you? I'm so fortunate that my brother is fucking awesome. It would suck. If I had like a fucking psycho anti-vaxxer brother, you know what I mean? Like I'm, I think I'm so thankful that I have the dopest brother, dude. I swear to God. Can you imagine being Jeremy Corbyn and your fucking brother is like this nutter, this absolute fucking nutter, bruv. Oi, he's fucking mental, ain't it? Oi, bruv. Well, I'm very Have involved. a seat, have a seat. It's my brother to see you. Been, uh, I've been seeing a lot of you lately all over different well, social medias right. and things. And that Trafalgar Square on Saturday was 
That How, was amazing. I wasn't lucky enough to be there, but it looked it looked unbelievable. Yeah. Would you like a pizza? While Archie offered pizza, I got ready to offer dough. My family business was restaurants, and then my father runs a very successful restaurant chain in South Africa. He actually started a fund in South Africa that I'm now a director of. So with his overseeing, I do some investments. One of our main interests, funnily enough, is actually we've got shareholdings in the AstraZeneca uh, vaccine. <laughs> Can you believe that? You know, it's it's not from a personal standpoint. It's more of a case of it's, it's good business. But uh, yeah, peers didn't. To all the people making fun of me for my British fucking accent is what I got to show you, bruv. Look at that. Oi, bruv. Yeah, that's fucking right. Yeah. Look at what I'm wearing. Look at what I'm fucking wearing. Yeah. How do you fucking like me now, bruv? That's fucking right, yeah. Oh, what now? What fucking now, yeah? Oh, I'm fighting for fucking Britannia, bruv. God save the fucking queen. That's right, in it. I'm in the fucking queen's garments. seem put off that I made money out of AstraZeneca but shared some wacky views on the other vaccines. Moderna and Pfizer give those magnetic things, don't they? Yes. Yeah. Well, that is very, very scary. I began to tease it a little. But, you know, if, if we can obviously help in any way to, to help your campaign, that's obviously going to help us. We, we've got shared interests. You clearly is. I mean, but, but, yeah, okay. No, absolutely. We actually even you know, brought along a little something today that was just a token of you know, our intention of helping out. Yes, I was wearing these the whole time, dude, of course. With your campaign. I was so if, yes. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we it's like some... to keep it off, oh, wow. off the book. <laughs> Showed him 10 grand in cash. But this is obviously just a sort of statement of intent. We'd love to keep that funding you. Um, so there's, there's 10,000 pounds there. That's a stab bit, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's... But that is brilliant. It's quite rare to have 10,000 pounds in... in Excuse me, no, if you don't want to... To the whole, to the whole, you know, that's just... That's just a bit from the same. Remarkably, Five Piers was delighted hundred. with the money made from the vaccine company, but claimed he couldn't be influenced. Well, as long as I can accept it with... There's no... Uh, insistence on any policy changes or anything that I'm doing. But because we hadn't yet switched the money, we hadn't handed him the envelope. So we tested if he really couldn't be influenced. And I appreciate you're not, we obviously are not asking for a change of policy or anything, but if there is anything that can be done to focus a bit on Pfizer and Moderna, that might be a that would be helpful for us. useful thing. So, knowing that I was an investor in AstraZeneca with a financial interest in other vaccines doing badly, Pierce Corbin started writing down benefits of the AstraZeneca vaccine. Okay, A Z not um, a, uh, a mRNA. Yeah, you know, just uh, it, 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 it. So which just, is a which is a fact, but I... it is. I mean, you know, we're not saying change any policy, but. If they could be slightly ignored more that would obviously be helpful yeah. for us and said yeah to our request for astrazeneca to be ignored now of course we weren't insisting on any policy changes but it seems mr corbyn was open to the idea of accepting our donation and focusing his efforts on pfizer and moderna it was time for archie and his magic mate henry to switch the cash with the help of my selfie loving girlfriend never report that <laughs> Oh, Sorry. <laughs> I didn't know. I didn't know you were the celebrity. <laughs> I know. Oh, okay. All right. Um, as long as you're not wearing a mask, I'll talk to you. Thank you, sir. These guys are so disgusting, dude. Anti-vaxxers, I mean. Like, they fucking disgust me. I swear to God. Like, <clears throat> people should do this more often. Go to every single fucking anti-vaxxer and just, uh, you know, I'm not talking about the British. Hasan buradaki yangınları açar mısın? Faydası olabilir. Daha ne açayım amına koyayım? Açtım bugün. Bir saat konuştuk ya. No, I don't mean the English, okay? What I mean is anti-vaxxer grifters. I really, 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 uh... I mean, this would be beneficial. Dude, I, I want to reach out to these motherfuckers and see if we can do this for American anti-vaxxers. Sorry, I'm 
Is that all right? Oh, oh absolutely. absolutely. Right. Okay. Get a girlfriend? Yes, that would be uh, cool as well. Where did he go? Just his, his kids. His okay. Kids. okay. You live right here? Yes, yes. Henry had passed go and collected £10,000, and we were ready to give Piers all the Monopoly money a conspiracy theorist could ever want. It was time to talk more business. You know, I'm not, I'm not going to go into specifics, but we, we've done very well out of being in... How much um, do you think you have made from it? It's really... I mean, I don't think Dad would want me to say... For the record, my AstraZeneca shares had made me seven pence. But Pierce thought AstraZeneca was going to make him £10,000, which might not be a great look. But luckily, Pierce had a plan. People ask where does this come from, I'd say it's uh, somebody who, uh, who's a businessman that runs a uh, restaurant. You wouldn't say it, yeah, you wouldn't say it's come straight from AstraZeneca, oh, even though it has. Yeah. 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 I mean, technically it kind of has, but we don't have to say that. Yeah. I mean, I suppose going forward, it's just that sort of focus on leaving AstraZeneca out of it wherever, wherever possible. We appreciate that's not... We can't have a full policy, policy change. Humanity Collapse 20, uh, 2100. My mom's an anti-vaxxer. She believes that the incredibly small amount of mercury causes autism and overall brain damage. And she said she would rather get COVID than the vaccine. It's so delusional it makes me sad. You can get more mercury from eating sushi. I wonder if your mother actually eats sushi. Also, um... I don't even know if there's a small amount of mercury in the mRNA vaccines, but uh, the concept of vaccines causing autism has been disproven. It's all one study that was immediately vilified by the British media or after being hyped up for, in, uh, for a couple years. And uh, the person who came up with that study, a famous British doctor who was at the time only doing it against the MMR vaccine because he had his own personal vaccine that he was shilling as a consequence of that. Um, uh, he was doing this for his own reasons. Well, that, uh, that doctor was uh, dis-doctored. I don't know what the word for it is. He's no longer a doctor. His name was Andrew Wakefield. He now lives in Austin in a massive compound, of course. He was uh, pushed, cast aside like an outcast, exiled, if you will, by the British. Um, and uh, yet, I was going to say disbarred, but that's why I said disdoctored. <laughs> it doesn't matter. When I speak in this accent, everything I say, no matter how juvenile or trivial, or stupid it sounds like i'm being brilliant okay <laughs> yes exactly well andrew wakefield now lives in uh austin texas uh, a beacon of freedom of course uh, america uh, opened up its arms to andrew wakefield and now he fucks models as a matter of fact in his compound but he has a supermodel girlfriend who's also an anti-vaxxer. No. We'll focus on Pfizer and Moderna and... Uh... Well, it'll happen anyway, but without any independence. You know I mean? Yeah. So it's, it's, uh, Brilliant. I think, I think that would be, that would be fair. Where's that money gone by? Oh, I've got it. I've got, I've got it. I've got it. Don't worry. <laughs> Keeping it safe. So apparently the idea that anti-vaxxers will focus on Pfizer and Moderna will now happen anyway, which obviously has nothing to do with our donation. It was time for a quick selfie and a transfer of cold, hard Monopoly money. Whether people choose to get a vaccine or not is entirely their business. But listening to people that spread misinformation about vaccines, particularly when they're accepting £10,000 made from vaccines, is perhaps a different matter altogether. For information about coronavirus vaccines, there's an NHS link in the description. Otherwise, please consult your doctor. Absolutely brilliant. Brilliant. Once again, the Bravs over in uh, South Africa and also uh, Britland have done it again. These chaps.